is up, Bills Mafia. We have 169 days to go until the Buffalo Bills win the Super Bowl 57. This channel is documenting every single day leading up to that amazing moment with a video. My predictions continue. Today we're going to the AFC West. This is going to be the wild west of divisions in the NFL this year. I mean, this division stacked with some really, really good teams. They're just going to knock the crap out of each other. Who's going to come out on top in the AFC West? Well, here's my prediction. And here's the best division in football. The Raiders, Chargers, Chiefs, and Broncos could all be in the hunt by week 14 of the season. Barring injuries, of course. Who comes out of this melee on top? Hard to argue against the LA Chargers. They have it all. Perhaps the second best quarterback in the league behind Josh Allen. Weapons on offense, including Mike Williams, Keenan Allen, and Austin Eckler. Free agent addition, JC Jackson at corner. And of course, the addition of linebacker Khalil Mack from the Chicago Bears in a trade. Chargers could win the West, but it won't be easy. They'll go 12 and five. The Kansas City Chiefs should always be considered a contender until they're not, and I think this is the first season of their decline. Losing Tyreek Hill is huge, and they didn't make up for it by signing free agents Valdez Scantling and Juju Smith-Schuster, and it just seems to be Patrick Mahomes and his no-look passes are starting to get a little old. He and Travis Kelsey had a good run, but while their golf game is getting better, their team is not. Chiefs, nine and eight. Instead, look for the Raiders to climb up the ladder past the Chiefs. They got better in the offseason, signing Chandler Jones and Devontae Adams. Derek Carr may not be a top five quarterback, maybe not even a top 10 quarterback, but he is consistent and leads the Raiders with tenacity at the quarterback position. 11 and six for the Raiders. The Broncos are the wild card of the West. Will Russell Wilson step in and instantly make this team better? Don't count on it. New team, new offense, new concepts. It will take a few games for Wilson to get in sync with his mile high square dance partners, Jerry Judy and Cortland Sutton. Fortunately for the Broncos, the first two opponents are very beatable, including Russell Wilson's old team, the Seattle Seahawks in week one. If the Broncos can split their first eight games, they should be in the hunt down the stretch. I think they just missed the playoffs at nine and eight. There you go, it's the LA Chargers. I just have a feeling we are on a collision course for a nasty, nasty AFC championship game with the Chargers, which we'll be able to take care of fairly easily. In my opinion, sorry. But I do, I don't think the Bills are going to be challenged much at all this season. And don't worry about it. I'm not jinxing the Bills. This team can't be jinxed. But when it comes to the AFC West, I would like to know who you think is going to come out on top in the AFC West. All right? So comment below because I want to know. See you tomorrow. <laughs>